Hello folk, welcome back to my channel. Today we will talk about top 10 best concealed carry guns in 2022. Self-defense has moved to the forefront of Americans' minds, and scores have clamored after concealed carry guns like no other time in recent history. That raises a question. What exactly is the best concealed carry gun? I have some suggestions. But before we start, please like and subscribe my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. It helps the my channel a lot. Now, let's get back to the video. Smith & Wesson CSX In the modern day, there are precious few hammer guns that make the concealed carry cut, mainly because the striker fighter options have sucked the air from out of the room, but also because hammer guns buy and large flirt with boat anchor status, not the Smith & Wesson CSX. Introduced in 2022 to relatively muted fanfare, the trim little 9mm is tailored perfectly to EDC, offering a unique and reliable defensive system. Reminiscent of the company's M and P striker guns, the CSX has a very familiar feel, all the way down to a similarly textured backstrap. However, the gun shuns polymer, instead, utilizing a durable aluminum alloy for the frame tending to leave a more substantial impression in the hand. This isn't a complete trick of the mind, given the pistol is hefty for a micro-compact, weighing in at 19.5 ounces unloaded. Despite this, the single action is nimble as ever in presentation, target acquisition, and target transition. As expected from a single action, the trigger is snappy as ever, enhanced by a flat-faced shoe. Though, the fact it requires a thumb safety to carry it loaded might leave many cold, after decades of acclimation to pistols sans a manual safety. At least Smith & Wesson has opted for an ambidextrous switch. A few other nice touches are the easy tap at the rear to aid cocking, a comfortable 18-degree rake to the grip and glare reduction serrations atop the slide. It's on the light side for capacity for its class, shipping with 12 and 10-round magazines. But for many, that's more than enough for a concealed carry gun. FN 509 Midsize Cooked up for the U.S. military's modular handgun competition, the 509 has an unimpeachable resume. While the compact model certainly comes in a smaller package, the midsize offers a greater accuracy potential thanks to a few key differences. Boasting a 4-inch barrel, the 9mm has a greater sight radius making it easier to keep a sight picture steady. Furthermore, a longer grip, thus divers the shooter more control over the gun. As far as its ability as a concealed carry gun, don't let the 509's dimensions fool you. It might be a smidgen larger, but conducive to staying under wraps. At 26.5 ounces unloaded, it also won't weigh you down. Exceptional 15 plus 1 capacity and intuitive controls, the shooters get duty pistol capacity in a very concealable package. Wilson EDC-X9S, when it comes to concealed carry guns, you've got it right here. Admittedly, a steep price tag will scare many folks off, but if you're unwilling to compromise on safety, the Wilson Combat All-Metal Masterpiece proves a worthwhile investment. Essentially a shrunk-down 1911 high-power hybrid, the X9s has built a reputation for its reliability. Pull the trigger, expect it to go bang. The 9mm does have more heft than many concealed carry options, however. This is a benefit when running the gun fast. It soaks up recoil while maintaining accuracy. As to capacity, it comes with a 10-round magazine, but given it's compatible with SIG P226-228 mags, you can upgrade. Glock 48 now, there's no denying both members of Glock's slimline series. The Glock 43X and 48 are top-notch concealed carry guns. Yet there's something to be said about going for the slightly larger model. They both have the same height and only 2 ounces separate them in weight, but the G48 has a longer barrel, which when it comes to steady sight, thus accuracy, makes a huge difference. This especially goes for new shooters. The 10 plus 1, single-stack 9mm, is among the most comfortable pistols to carry, thanks to its very stealth width. This also generally makes it easy for most people to get handle on the gun, thus control it better. Furthermore, like all Glocks, it's reliable and accurate, to the point of being mundane. Yeah, there's the grip rake, a bone of contention for some. 
But overall, there's a reason why so many in law enforcement officials, military personnel, and armed citizens trust their lives to the Austrian pistol. Walter PPK You already thought it, but I'll say it. Bond. James Bond. Yes, it's that gun. The legend of the silver screen. Now before you go off all half-cocked, we know this isn't a brand new gun. In fact, it's a rather old design, first introduced in 1930. But it has been redone for 2019 while hanging on to the heritage that made it famous. While the gun has a bit of a checkered past, it's most recognizable for its stainless steel frame flashing in the limelight in the hands of 1007. The reborn version, absent from Walder's arsenal since 1992, is chambered in 380 ACP to hold a bit more ammo than the 9mm version. With a gun this small, that extra round can make a difference. Plus, today's 380 cartridges are more powerful than in years gone by, so you're not really sacrificing much with the slightly smaller round. All the controls are right-handed, as is tradition in older models, both original and redone. The magazine is a scant 6 plus 1. However, for one extra round, pick up the sport version that features a slightly longer grip with a 7 plus 1 magazine and single-color black finish. Production of this venerable weapon has moved from Germany to Walder's U.S. headquarters in Fort Smith, Arkansas, making this a truly American-made gem. Ruger LCP-2 Sometimes you just have to go small, and of the little guns, the Ruger LCP-2 is a winner. The LCP-2 corrected all the shortcomings of the very successful LCP by improving the sights, converting to a striker fire type trigger, and providing slide lock on the last round. The beauty of the LCP-2 is its diminutive size and weight. If you can't hide this gun, you can't hide a gun. Yes, it's just a 380, but modern, defensive 380 ammunition is better than the 158 grain round-nosed 38 special loads that were once the standard for law enforcement. Another advantage is how easy it is to cycle the slide, which can be a big issue for older people and women with low hand strength. The LCP-2 is also quite affordable. Heckler and Cock USP Compact 4-5 Compact 4-5 ACP pistols aren't the easiest to pull off, but H&K does it eloquently with the USP. The HK USP Compact is a small frame pistol capable of firing the most powerful cartridges in 9mm, 40 Smith & Wesson, 4-5 ACP based on the full-size USP models. These handy pistols combine compact size with optimum effective shooting performance. Despite being a hair taller than some concealed carry guns, the UPS still fits this bill. A lightweight polymer frame qualifies it for everyday carry, as does its reliability. Capacity is a little underwhelming at 10 plus 1, but that's to be expected with a compact 4 to 5. Smith and Wesson 340 PD The Smith and Wesson 340 PD wasn't on the website for a few years, but now it's back and it's the ultimate noisy cricket. Like the explosively powered gun Will Smith fired in Men in Black, the 340 PD packs a serious punch at both ends. True, the 2-inch barrel degrades the performance of the 357 Magnum caliber, but even from a short barrel, it's on par with a 9mm with a 5-inch barrel. At less than 12 ounces, it's almost as light as the diminutive LCP-2, though it does have a thicker profile. Lighter weight and power come at a price, $1,019 to be exact, and it's not an easy gun to shoot because of brutal recoil. If you think it's a bit much, there's always the Smith & Wesson 442 in 38 Special at just less than 15 ounces. Sig Sauer P306-5 The Sig P306-5 has proven among the most monumental handguns to hit the market in a spell, serving up what many consider the perfect on-person self-defense package. That a tall boast, but one the demure 9mm more than fulfills. Above all, what makes the P365 such a spectacular heater is size. The 3.1-inch barreled pistol is a mere 1 inch in width and tips the scales at a scant 17 ounces or so, creating one of the most concealable and easy-to-carry pistols out there. Sure enough, there are smaller handguns, 
but in nearly every case they're a compromise in power or capacity. Not so with the P-300 6-5. Shipping with two 10-round magazines, the Mighty Might has a payload identical to many compact models that come in nearly twice its size. Not enough on tap. Simply solved, given there are 12 and 13 round extended magazines available to improve your firepower. In addition to aggressive grip texturing, the Striker Fired's exceptionally light trigger ups the gun's accuracy potential. To boot, the 9mm is also quite easy to manipulate, an often overlooked asset. All in all, SIG cooked up a gun that is a true game changer. Springfield Hellcat The SIG P365 is a game changer. The Springfield Hellcat is proof. Quickie embracing the micro-compact concept, the Illinois Concern cooked up a direct competitor to the popular SIG, and in many respects produced a concealed carry gun option that runs neck and neck with the original. No larger than a compact 380 SCP, the Striker Fired is among the smallest 9mm options available today. By the tape, it measures in at 1 inch in width, 6 inches in length and weighs in at 18 ounce. Pretty dang concealable and easy to carry by anyone's standards. At the same tick, the Hellcat offers everything you'd expect out of a much larger concealed carry pistol, especially capacity. Out of the box, the three-inch barreled pistol boasts more firepower than nearly anything in its class, shipping with an 11-round magazine. Invest in a 13-round extended capacity magazine. Well, folks, you'll holster an iron flirting with a full-sized pistol's capacity. Outfitted with adaptive grip texturing, the Hellcat offers a positive grip when you need it, yet the ability to reposition your hand when you need to. 